Good morning, everyone. It's Jan, Not A Real Farm. As you can see, it's 7.27 in the morning. Um, I've just pulled a few things out of the freeze dryer, so I just wanted to show you what I was doing before I get to the garden for the day. Now, I took all those peppers out of yesterday's video, uh, and I threw them in the dehydrator. keep saying dehydrator. Really, that's what it looks like, but I threw it in the freeze dryer, and they all came out nice and dry. There's no, you know, they're pretty hard. There's no cold spots or anything on them. Um, the purple peppers have dried amazingly into this sort of cool blue color, which is actually really cool. And then the red peppers that I've had, you hear how hollow they are? So they are all ready to go into the jar. The next thing I did was I did my Cherokee purple. So as you can see, they've all sort of come out just like styrofoam. And what you're feeling for along here is you're looking at the skins, because like I said yesterday, I leave them on. You're looking for cold spots, and they'll still feel almost like they're, you know, sort of frozen if the skins have not freeze dried. So all of these I've checked, and they are all dry. So that's good. This is another tray. I just combined two trays here because I'm going to steal another tray from, uh, from the next thing I'm going to show you. And here is some more Cherokee purples. Once again, they are all crumbly. Look how big these slices are. They're just, they just crumble like styrofoam, which is amazing. But I love the fact that they do retain, like I said, their, their shape and their color. And I was reading yesterday, actually, that the freeze dryer retains 97% of your nutrients in your food, so that's good. Um, and the other thing that I've actually freeze dried is beef stroganoff. So I have a tray of beef stroganoff here. And basically all I'm doing is it needs a little bit more dry time. Now this has been in the freeze dryer for about 20 hours. Um, so what I'm doing is there's a dry tray here that I'm stealing from the tomatoes and I'm simply just taking chunks of the beef stroganoff and turning it over because it's the bottom that needs the, the extra dry time, I can tell. So I'm simply just basically robbing from one. See how that comes out like that? So awesome and turning it over and just basically putting it on the tray so that the bottom gets some dry time before we take it out. Now it's actually styrofoamy and crunchy, but I can feel that there's a little bit of, it feels almost still like it's in the freezer, so it tells me that it needs a little bit more dry time. It comes off like, almost like Rice Krispies. That's kind of the consistency that I'm getting from it right now. So I'm just turning, basically turning this over and I'm gonna throw it back on the freeze dryer and give it a couple of extra hours of dry time, and that's it. And then we're gonna be storing chunks of, you know, beef stroganoff in jars um, downstairs in the pantry for winter. It's pretty cool, guys, I gotta tell you. And like I said, I didn't realize the nutrient content that the freeze dryer actually keeps for your food. I believe canning is 70%, but freeze drying is 97%. So this is what I'm doing before I head out to the garden. I've got a few things I've got to show you there, but this morning, this is, uh, this is my task. Basically, now what we're going to be doing is putting the beef stroganoff back into the freeze dryer. The peppers are done and so are the tomatoes. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be just putting those in plain old jars. The other thing that I really like about this in terms of sort of food storing capacity is that I can just take any old jar that I have, some pasta jars, a dill pickle jars that I've had in storage forever, and basically just throw the oxygen uh, absorber into the jar, cap it, and then throw it up on the shelf in the pantry. So it doesn't sort of keep me prisoner to have to buy proper jars or make sure that I've got snap lids, that kind of thing. So it gives you a little bit more freedom in terms of food storage than just canning alone. So that's kind of like my favorite thing right now is the, the extra freedom that it gives you to sort of squirrel away that extra amount of food. So extra shout out this morning too for everyone that's gone into the Etsy store to take a browse or purchase. I absolutely appreciate it. Things are changing daily. Um, I just put in the uh, watermelon seeds in there as well. And so I think there's some pepper seeds and everything else in there too and tomato seeds. So take a browse if you haven't had a look yet. It changes daily. But thanks very much, guys. Thumbs up if you like what you saw and hopefully subscribe. See you soon.